been pretty much a whole week now since I've injured my thumb and surprisingly it still really kind of hurts. Now what happened about two years ago I was I just started at my brand new gym that I'm at now which is Alliance in Brisbane and within the first like two days I was one with one guy and he was 120 kilograms I asked him after how much he weighed and he kind of like rolled awkwardly on my thumb when I had like a side control position and I ended up dislocating it but it popped back in which is I guess good but extremely painful and I just strapped it it took a good like month or so to fully heal it was always a little bit achy especially in winter and then on Wednesday I was rolling and it was like the dumbest thing in the world a guy was in total and I went to kind of like reach around and somehow knocked it really hard and ever since it has been so much pain it completely inflamed and I did something to the ligaments but I haven't been to the doctor or anything to get it checked out because what are they gonna say don't roll anymore because you're injured so I've been rolling still um, even with it last night I did two sessions back to back I'm about to head off now to training Gi isn't really fun, but I realized that you don't actually use your thumb very much whenever you're gripping and doing things. It's just when people like grip it or like accidentally bump it or hit it, it really hurts. But it's still bruised, it's still a little bit inflamed. I still can't do like this or this with it, so I know it's not fully healed yet, but I'm still training to do it. So last night we're focusing a lot on like scissor sweeps and stuff. Um, back to some basics which was really good super needed for me the problem with training is you can learn a million techniques and you learn so many things and the sessions change all the time and you're learning like brand new complicated stuff every day and you forget these basics and at my place in particular we don't have a lot of time to drill and I don't I can't find the time to drill so if I don't drill I lose techniques a lot so going back in and going to these fundamental classes and learning these techniques again is so necessary for my game and even just tweaking little things like with a scissor sweep I can usually get scissor sweeps on people that are quite a bit smaller than me or less experienced and then they show me a couple little bits that I've been missing in my game whereas now I think I think I'm a little bit more confident with that sweep but these are my scissor sweep bruises if you can see look at that that's how I know I've been scissor sweeping so I just have one of these as a pre jiu-jitsu snack um, for Phil. I only just tried these yesterday. I'm trying to find a snack that I can eat before training that doesn't make me feel like too full or bloat me or give you like gas or something that you do not want when you're rolling. Um, so, so far these were actually quite delicious. They didn't have that yucky uh, chemically taste afterwards like a lot of things do with stevia and artificial sugars because it's quite low in sugar. But we'll see how it goes. I'm actually totally running late to training, so I didn't even bother folding my gi. So, this is a very formal way of going to training. I just spent a good 20 minutes driving around the streets near my Jujutsu gym trying to find a park. There was absolutely none. And now I have to walk another 5 minutes to get to class. So I'm 20 minutes late for an hour class. Um, not a good look. But at least I'm going. I almost gave up so many times. I was like, okay, one more round and then I quit. One more round and then I quit. But at least we're here. And we have done that session. I am so wrecked and I cannot believe that even though I was so late, I'm so exhausted. I pretty much walked in and did a two minute technique and then went straight into rolling. And it was like torture. So today in Brisbane, it is about 30 degrees Celsius and really humid which means it is hot as fuck and that was a very painful session my thumb gave me a lot of grief it's been aching and it got knocked a couple times and I did get choked a bit too much that hurt the back of my neck so if you guys know me I have a bulging disc in my neck which I got in my first six months of Jiu Jitsu and it kind of strained a bit so I might need to ice that and I do think it's gonna cause a few pins and needles tonight which is always a fun experience but I don't think I'm recovered from yesterday at all. So yesterday I did two and a half hours of Jiu Jitsu, two classes back, back to back, and also an hour and a half of weight training, which was deadlifts. I didn't deadlift too heavy, just a bit over 100 kilos for sets of five, just cause I didn't miss a week and I'm trying to ease back into it without injuring myself. And because I'm taking away the belt now, so I've gone beltless. So I'm trying to like build up that strength again in my core and my back. So I'm not relying on the belt. So this is my lunch for today after Jiu Jitsu. It is a pretty massive bowl of salad. I cooked some zucchini, prawns, mango, avocado, celery, and some carrot all in one bowl. Mango and 
prawns. It's actually really delicious together, and especially in Australia right now, it is so hot today. I double checked the weather. It's actually closer to 40 degrees Celsius, um, because my watch on um, the weather on my watch was wrong, and I looked in my car, and it is extremely hot today. So I did not want to cook a really hot meal. So a big ass uh, salad, and a nice big bottle of soda water is gonna make a perfect lunch. Ho ho ho! Finally got my package delivered. A little Christmas present for myself just arrived. Ho ho. So pretty. Box. I think the only way to eat mango now is wash it in a hammock. Yep. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I can nap out here. 